All right, so we're gonna do number 744, find smallest letter greater than target. So given a character's array letters that is sorted in non-decreasing order in a character target, return the smallest character in the array that is larger than target. Note that the letters are up around. So for example, if target is equal to Z and letters A, B, then the answer is A, so you're basically going around in a circle. Let's try to represent this pictorially, and then we will try to write the code. So go over here. This is left, this is right. And by the way, we're gonna do binary search because it's gonna be the most efficient solution in this case. And this is gonna be your midpoint, right? So let's just say that your target's D, just like in this example. And then our midpoint's obviously gonna be F. So F, right? So what does that mean? Well, we gotta move right is equal to mid minus one, right? So what we're gonna do here, we're also gonna copy this. That didn't work, so whatever. We're just gonna write it again. All right, so now that we do that, we're gonna move over our mid and we're gonna move over our right, right? So we move that. So this is gonna be R and this is gonna be mid as well, right? So now our target is still gonna be D. However, we have a new uh, num, we have a new midpoint. So our new midpoint is gonna be C here. And we notice here, that D is greater than C. So what do we do when D is greater than C? Well, we're gonna move left over one place, right? But we notice here that right is no longer right. Right is left. So therefore, we must return the left, right? So that's a premise of how the algorithm goes, but let's just handle some of our edge cases. If right falls off the map, basically, if right goes off the map, we want to return whatever L is here, right? So now that we know that, and what if right is equal to, let's just say that this one was here, right is equal to the target. What are we going to do there? Well, we're still going to move left over one, right? So this is actually going to be, so basically our conditions are for here, target, is less than uh, letters, nums, right? And then we have the same thing here, where target is greater than letters. And what happens when we do that? Well, we're gonna move left is equal to mid plus one, right? So now let's translate that into code. So left is equal to zero, right is equal to length. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it R. Letters minus one, so while left is greater than or less than or equal to right what we're going to do is we're going to set midpoint to equal our left plus right divided by two if target so we're going to do the first condition here so if target is less than letters nums what we're going to do is we're gonna set R to equal to mid minus one. Else, left is equal to mid plus one. And we also had to consider our edge case that we talked about briefly, where if right falls off the map here and left falls off the map, then we're gonna return the left-hand side, right? So if target is less than 
uh, letters left or target is greater than or equal to right because right is like the letters minus one, right? And we're gonna put letters here. Return letters left. And we're gonna copy that. And we are going to return that value. It should work. Let's see. Left is not defined. Made a little mistake there. And this one is not num, should be mid. Put a capital there. Alpha SAR. And let's run our test cases here, see if it works. It does work, submit. And accepted. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.